I'm Dan Harder with CPM Beta Raven. Beta Raven is the automation division for CPM. And we're here to talk about the pellet mill controller that Beta Raven has. It's called the MCP. And it is an automatic controller to control your pellet mill. And it doesn't matter whether it's a CPM pellet mill or a Bliss or a Bueller, any of the pellet mills that are out there, the common manufacturers, we can control it. Uh, what this is designed for is to allow you to get the production cap capacity that you're looking for out of your pellet mill and protect your investment in your pellet mill and to give you the quality of the pellets. We have three different operating modes. Uh, manual, so you can operate the mill, start it and stop it when you want. You can also do automatic, which will start everything up and it'll run automatic. You don't have to touch it. And we also have a service mode. And you can see we get a graphical display of the pellet mill and the different devices that are running. To start it in auto, well, we come up here. Right now I have it in manual mode. And I want to put it in auto. And then I press start, stop. And we'll begin the run. And you'll notice the pellet mill will start up. As the device starts, it will turn green. The pellet mill motor will not start until the oil pump has been running for 30 seconds. That is an interlock to protect your piece of equipment. And after 30 seconds of the oil pump running, you'll see the pellet mill turn green and it'll start running. And what we're looking for here is when we get up to idle speed, idle temperature uh, that is set in our setup parameters, then we'll start the conditioner. This will take a couple minutes for the pellet mill to get up to speed. We're waiting for the die to get up to full speed, uh, operating speed. And we're looking for the uh, mill amp load motor to get to the set point. There you go. And now you can see we have the conditioners come on. And the feeder feeding the conditioners come on. And our spout temperature is going up. We're still in the begin mode. So we're not actually making the good quality pellets that you're wanting to make yet. And once we get into the start mode, that means all of our operating parameters have been met. Uh, we're adding steam right now. And then we'll start tracking your production totals up here. How many tons per hour, and then the total tons you've made uh, at that particular time. We're also adding a liquid. And you can see we got a flow rate, we got a, a ratio, a total that we're looking for uh, based off of the recipe that we're running. And we're also controlling the cooler to cool the pellets. And we're monitoring the temperature of the pellets and the temperature of the outside air. And now we're in run mode. So you can see we're going to start tracking our total. Now one of the things the MCP, the pellet mill controller, will do is it will operate this automatically. And as you have uh, errors or upsets in your system, the MCP will take care of those automatically. It will adjust the production rate, shut equipment down as needed. And I can demonstrate showing a couple different errors here real quick. Um, I'm going to simulate if we had a roll slip. Uh, if we had too much product coming into the pellet mill to where it wasn't able to press the product through the mill. And in a second here we'll see a uh, simulation of a roll slip. And you can see we're dumping product out of the front of the pellet mill. We've shut down the feeder and the conditioner because we have a roll slip. We have too much product in the die, which could possibly damage the die or the rolls or even the main shaft. Once the, the pellet mill controller has sensed that we've gotten back down to operating uh, amps and the, the uh, percentage of the amp load, we'll go back into begin mode. The dump chute will eventually shut and then we'll start back up the conditioner and the feeder. So this will take a couple seconds until we ramp down and, and get to the proper operating speed again. And you'll see the dump chute will close here in just a second. The conditioner will come on in just a second and we'll be back up and running. So traditionally if you were running this pellet mill in, uh, with manual controls and you had a roll slip, you wouldn't know it until your, your die was totally packed and, and jammed shut and you could possibly break something and then you'd have to start everything back up. And if you notice, we never shut the pellet mill down. We just shut down the product going into it to feed it, and now we're started back up. Uh, again, we're in begin mode, so we're not back up to operating speed yet, but we've now gone through a roll slip and we, we recovered from that, and now we're back up to producing good quality pellets.
And up here you can see we do have an alarm log. So you can see anything that's happened to your, your pellet mill while it's been running. Uh, it shows that we had a roll slip and we have an alarm viewer. So I can push that and it'll tell me whatever alarms that I had. Now the operator can clear these out so that his boss doesn't see his problems. But we have an event viewer. So everything that has happened to this pellet mill controller since we started up has been logged. So you can see we had a pellet mill off alarm at this point in time. Uh, we had a cooler uh, air. We had a system emergency stop. So this is a running log. So a mill manager or a, a, a plant supervisor can come in and see what's been going on with his piece of equipment. Again, we're looking to provide you an opportunity to uh, protect your investment in your pellet mills, um, generate the production quality and quantity that you're looking for when you made that investment in your pellet mill. And that's the, the CPM pellet mill controller, it's the MCP.